back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னு நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணல மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் to our channel in this video we are going to solve the today's daily test so the question is magical bucket with balls so in this question what they have given is there is a magical room uh, that is or crossy buckets are arranged as a matrix okay it's arranged in a matrix the maximum capacity of each bucket is m okay so they have given the maximum capacity of the each bucket okay now every second exactly one balls falls into each bucket okay in the first row and if a bucket overflows the overflowing balls will double and fall into the bucket below it okay then the number of balls in each bucket and the value of m are passed as the output and we must print the number of seconds it takes to fill all the buckets as the as the output okay so this is the sample input you can see that after one second this becomes uh four cross okay this four cross becomes four five two four and three okay similarly here that changes after two seconds it will go from five three and here also four okay like that and finally how many second it takes to fill the entire overflows that limit we might find so it takes six seconds to uh, attain that position okay so i'm going to solve this one using the python language so initially i'm going to create a function uh named fill buckets okay so fill buckets so we must read the r and c so r comma c is equal to map of in comma input dot split here okay okay just use it now we must read the matrix so for that the buckets like this and here for underscore in range of r the buckets will get appended to the matrix like that so map of in comma input dot split here okay and now we must read the maximum capacity of each bucket so i just initially it as m so m is equal to int input okay and similarly we must initialize the number of seconds so initially it will be zero and while true another variable that is flag to check if all buckets are filled or not so all filled is equal to true and now we must overflow tracking for the next row so that overflow is equals to zero cross zero into c like that okay and here for i in range of r and the new overflow will be equal to zero into the c here okay and here for j in range of c and we must add the overflow from the row above so for that the buckets of i cross j will get incremented to the overflow of j here okay and now if i equals zero then add the ball to each bucket in the first row so for that buckets of i cross j will get incremented to one okay and other conditions that is the buckets of i cross j if it is greater than the m then we must calculate the overflow okay so x is equal to buckets of i cross j minus m here okay and here the buckets of i cross j mm, will be equal to m here okay and we must now double the overflow and add to the next row so for that i plus one less than r and then the new overflow overflow of j will get incremented to the excess into two okay and coming under this and what we should do is so
for buckets okay so till that we have done so coming out of this for loop here so if buckets of i cross j is less than m then the all field will be equal to the false okay and now we must update the overflow for the next one so next row so overflow is equal to new overflow okay and now the seconds will get incremented to one and similarly if all filled then we must break it here and finally we must print the seconds okay so now let me run the code and check for the output so i hope no output come so break outside the loop so here we must check for the intent here so might come any intentation error right here so so far j in range so this correct so okay and this can't end ends inside this okay so let me come it down here so this comes here and this goes inside and this two goes inside like this and now the overflow will get till this for loop here so okay and now the seconds will come out of this for loop and now this will come here and this will come here and this print statement will come out of this while here and finally we are calling our function name that is the fill buckets okay and now let us run the code and check for the output yeah you can see that our code has been successfully passed without getting any error and if this video finds useful please do like share subscribe for more videos and i will see in the next video thank you for watching